Hi, welcome to the third part of our tutorial. In the first one, we implemented the front end and following by the signaling server. And now we are going to finish with the client site and also uh, the service. So we are going to implement these two things now. And uh, this client code here with the service embedded will allow us to connect to our uh, signaling server that we created before. And uh, the code that we had was uh, this one. We also need to run that for you to see the current uh, layout. So, <clears throat> and uh, let's start our in case uh, we need, we use uh, this node mon to, we are going to use node mon to start our server. Signaling server, if you don't have it, please install it this way. It ng npm install minus for global min ng min j uh, node mon. And then uh, let's dive. We can just check that here. So here is that here on the, okay, we need to go on the server, then note, note mon, signaling server. So here, our signaling server is running. Now we need to run uh, uh, the front end. And because we enable uh, the local HTTPS, so we need to have, uh, in addition to ngsev, we need to add additional uh, parameters, which refer to the locations where we have our uh, certificates and uh, certificate key, these two things here. And we also need to specify the host and the port. So here is the locations here. And if you right click this one, go to relative here, we are going to find this relative path. And it's this relative path that we add here. Then on that one is set, then we need to copy this one and start. Uh, it should take some time to build. It's building. And you can see after that one is done here is defining the local URL to access uh, our front end, we can access it on local OS here. Or we can also get it through this, the network, through the IP. Through this IP, we already have it here. Here is the one here. If we also run this, we can see that we can access the two things from either the local host of course, HTTPS or here. And then we can also get uh, our video from both sides. So that is it. And then we are going to continue with the next part, which will be adding this call functionalities with pop-up uh, functionalities here. And of course, implement all this in, in, the, in the back end. So let's go. Then uh, we need to create another uh, terminal here. So in order to do this one now, uh, quickly here, we need to uh, create our service. ng generate service panel slash service slash data. 
So with this one here, we have created a data service here inside our panel. And then we also need to generate an interface, ng generate interface. And it should be on the panel slash types slash message. Then here is our interface here. And then it should be of type Our interface here should be of type, should have properties, string, and then also data of type any. So these are the two attributes for the message. And then now let's go and implement our data. First of all, we need to define uh, the endpoint. We need to define the endpoints. So we come here, and for we can either use uh, export. We used to export uh, const endpoint equal WSS web socket because we use uh, secure shell HTTPS local host. You can use this one if you don't want to use the IP, we can keep this one. But because we need to use, uh, we use access it over the network, we are going to make use of the second options, which will be involving adding our network local IP. Here is our local IP. So we define the socket endpoint for the live server or local network environment. That one is completed. Then now we need to uh, define the web socket object for managing the socket connections and sending, receiving uh, the message. So that one, we'll define that here. So this WebSocket objects here will be used for sending and receiving objects. So private sockets. No, no. Column web socket subject tap any and then yeah you have error here and undefined either it's defined or it's undefined so then the next uh, variable that we need to note here is a subject to store and manage the incoming messages. For storing the incoming, uh, to manage for managing, so storing and manage the incoming messages, we also need to define the message subjects equal to new subject and it should be of type message
and the message is what we defined here so we have to import it from sorry new okay then the observable observable string dot order part of the application can subscribe to to receive the message so other part of the application will subscribe to this one in order to receive uh, the message so we declare this observable it's a list that everyone should subscribe to message equal this message object as observable Yeah, and then next, yeah, uh, after this one is done, so we defer this one, and we also need to handle uh, uh, that one, we can do it later. So, <coughs> we need to establish the connections so we need to define our public connect method which return nothing and we also need to declare we do two things here in this data service we connect and we send the message public send message of type message then void that is it two things here then we need to implement them so the first thing for the connections here is to get a new WebSocket connection. So in order to get, we need to get a new WebSocket connection and assign it to our socket. This get new WebSocket connections here. And we need to define this method uh, that is here we are going to make it private we make it private and Now we need to return our instance. So web socket So for that one we'll handle uh, different cases. We are going to handle uh, different cases. So the first one here is when uh, WebSocket, uh, as you can see here, we need to define the URL configuration source here and then the WebSocket configurations or then or the web socket configuration so that one the url is this one that we clear above we use the web socket endpoint that we declare here so that one we use it here as parameter and then the second thing is here 
case one for the case one when the WebSocket connection is successfully open. If this successfully open, open observer. Then next. Uh, we can say uh, this case will have case one. I will take this one as case one and then case two. Case two is closed. Here, connection is open. Here, connection is closed. And when the connection is closed, we need to attempt, uh, we need to implement a uh, the reconnections logic. So this is what we are going to do. And then now, here we have next. And console. Lock data service connections open or oh, okay. Then if the connections is okay. Then we need to define uh, the reconnections attempt. And hmm. so uh, we need to define two uh, variables here. One, a counter to track the number of reconnections attempts in case of WebSocket disconnections, private. Reconnect attempt equal null private read only max reconnect attempt equal ten. Hmm. Then here we set this reconnect attempt equal null. So it has been successful, so we don't need to uh, do any reconnections logics. And uh, then if uh, the web socket is closed, is closed now, we will take a similar approach here. But here, instead of open, we are going to use the close observer. Here is the close observer. Then here, instead of open, here we add closed. And then if it is closed, we are going to set the socket as undefined. Then, if this close, we try to add 
attempt attempt to reconnect till max is reached so if reconnection reconnections attempt is less than the maximum which is then allow you can change it if it's less than that then what we have to do is to define a reconnect delay and the exponential back off for the reconnections delay should be uh, mat power to this reconnections attempt time thousand. Back off, then console. Back forward. Reconnecting in. Remember here, this is the back, I think the back code, this is the back code, we put it inside the back code. So, not the single code, but the back code. The connection is delay, divided by 1000, to get it in seconds. Now we define the delay. We define the time out. Oh, sorry. Here is dot lock. Now we set time out. This reconnect attempt plus plus reconnect try to connect again. If it doesn't work, then we keep uh, incrementing the attempt and then we passed the delay. Else, console error, max reconnect attempts reached, then we can give up. Yeah, so we are here now. Then uh, here is uh, how we return uh, the instance of uh, the WebSocket uh, connections. And then now we can go to our connect here. We go back to our connect method. Then we subscribe.
WebSocket messages. So this socket subscribed. Uh, by subscribing that one now. You subscribe. So each time then that uh, when we have a new message, when we receive a new message, when a new message is received, message is received then we need to oh sorry we need to do some parsing then we check the type of the message received if Yes, type of message is string if it is a string or not if not a string else we handle the non-string objects first. Console log. And received object message. Receive the object message. Then this message subject next we pass it to it simple. So then we come back to if if uh, the message is a string, then we try to uh, pass it as JSON. As a JSON. Here we pass it as a JSON. Try catch and you know here it's try catch arrow console arrow. Error passing web socket message. Error. Then here now in our try. We define a constant past message string equal j 
zusammen. Passt. Message. Then now console locked. Passed message. Pass our past message here, and then this message subject, same as below. Next, pass message. So we have handled the two possibilities here, and then, then, uh. However, if uh, we have uh, the error in the web socket connections, when error, then we have to handle that here error. No. Okay, console error. Hmm. Web socket error. Then course we have handled uh, the connections here when there is no error and then when uh, there is error and here when when uh, the connections is closed then we have defined completed web socket connection is closed then after that one is done now we need to handle the sent message and that one we need to handle the sent message we come here We need to send the message, of course, via uh, WebSocket. Console. Sending. Message. Message type. Now, if we check if uh, we are going to check if uh, WebSocket connections is open, always if socket is open. Uh, 
else if it is not open then console error we can write a message like web socket connections is not open on able to send message then now if it is open you can see that each time that we want to send a message we always try to check either to pass or serialize the message try catch we catch the error and when we catch the error we have to console it as always good practice in case of error error serializing the message we have the error serializing the message then now we serialize uh, the message object to json string then serialized message before sending console lock serialized message then we send the serialized message via uh, WebSocket this now in order to send that next serialized message is sent now by a web socket uh, where is the arrow now I receive something here like the arrow. Where is that? We have to try and cache here. Where is that error then? Oh, here is that here. And uh, <laughs> we 
define this should be comma. Okay, then we can see that we have defined everything now. We define uh, there is our data service. This is almost done. Then <clears throat> let's go now and define uh, our this method here. We have start post. Start call. And then we also have hang up. So let's go and try to see how we can define all these things. And then also the outgoing and incoming messages. Okay, now we need to handle uh, the incoming messages. And uh, before going to that one here, we'll need to make some new declarations here we had uh, the local video and then we also need here to reference the remote video and this one will be called uh, remote video element get reference to the remote uh, video element in the template. And then once that one is done, here we also need to add a couple of configurations, offer options. In the offer options here, we offer to received audio so you want audio or no for now we set it yes to avoid interferences but when your application is running you can set it to true for now i just choose to make it false i don't want any audio now and uh, offer to receive video true yes so here is the web rtc offer options here is our web rtc offer options here and here is where the, our media uh, constraints for the video and audio that we defined before. Then now we need to set uh, the configurations for our stone server. Here is our stone and stone servers configurations okay so const uh, server configurations we 
here uh, just for your information here we can come here and type uh, uh, list of stone servers and then you get a complete list here and you can choose it from here so like this one I want to use Google so I take this here is you can see it's a very big list and uh, here because I will need the stone and the town server I need to declare an array then the URL the protocol turn Stone. The protocol here is stone, and we define the URL. Yeah, once that one is done, we can do the same thing. We copy that, and uh, here we define the turn. for the fallback so here is our public stone server by Google and then here is our turn server for fallback and then what do we get uh, I need, need to set the username web RTC and then the password credential you can choose to go only with uh, the, the stone server for the same purpose and uh, what is a problem here I see we have to define the name and then here it is ice service here is that the fun we are good to go pay attention here to the protocol name here is town and here is the town so <coughs> Then once that one is defined, we can come down now and then declare some parameters that we'll use. So we'll make use of uh, the local stream. cannot be undefined the media stream private mm, peer connections remember the key term that uh, we define in the second video here is our here at RTC peer oh sorry peer connections yes our RTC peer connections what am I doing 
sorry not equal duplicate oh another one was already defined here so this one is not needed and then I set this I don't need the other one but I can just take it and put them here make it align and then we also need to indicate a flag that will uh, that will detect if uh, the current user initiated a call or not this is very interesting uh, parameter variables it's a boolean here we'll use it to detect if someone initiated a call or not when this is useful when we want to send the incoming message box then once that one is done and then we take down the next thing is to inject our data service uh, we pass through uh, the constructor data service good so then here after the uh, view init we have to modify this one here we are going to handle uh, at in common message and and then here we can define our method here and like here and define different possibilities so before going to implement here uh, let's update this uh, request uh, media services so now we want to request a pool here we as I said before we pull uh, the microphones and the camera from users uh, device from the user's system we had uh, the configurations here which is already defined and we started this one in the other video and then by this one what we do we access the camera and microphone then we display the local stream in the video elements so once we retrieve it then we can display it in the local local video native element source objects this is equal local stream So here we display local stream in the video element. And that is it. And here uh, we start uh, the video to start. Here we are starting the video and remember before starting the video here we need to check the local stream so we first check 
the local stream then await this request media device here so what are we doing here is we only request the media devices if not already requested if it's already requested then we don't need to request it again so uh, here is that here and then now we need to make this one async and we say async here we need to fulfill we need to at the promise a bit that so uh, this one we enable this one to true and then local video elements here same as this one Here we set the video element to display the stream. And uh, what is uh, the issues here? start local video there is yeah, always some minor stops <laughs> and this is the arrow here. Oh, I see. There was, yeah. Okay, so it was a capital S. Then uh, this is done. And we should also try to do this one. We first start with what uh, we did before. So when pausing here, we are going to do the same thing get uh, local get I see here oh I was getting the video I get here the video track here I get uh, the video get local stream this local stream get video for each track What 
this the issue is here. I will just copy this one, paste it here. And this one we set it to null. If local stream is on here. Get video chat does not exist. Okay, get video truck property does not exist, does not exist on tap. Never. Okay. 